slamming a dog onto a table, grabbing another by the throat. I don't think you should ever touch an animal again. An abusive veterinarian caught on video. CTV News with Ken Shaw and Michelle Dubay. Good evening. We begin tonight with a disturbing story involving animal abuse. And the person responsible is a veterinarian. And let's take a moment here to warn you that you may find the video we're about to show you upsetting. Austin Delaney joins us in the studio tonight with this CTV News exclusive. Austin. And those images are quite shocking. Thank you. Over the years, we have reported on many cases of animal abuse, but this one is particularly disturbing because someone entrusted with caring for our pets is the one abusing them. It might have gone on for a long time if it was not for the employees of the veterinarian in question who decided to take action on their own. I'm right here. Jessica and Hamilton just, in the examination the room with Dr. Mahavir Riki and a chihuahua. He's choking it out. His hands are on its neck. The images to this day still too much for the veterinary technicians. He told me that if you, if you handle them roughly enough, they won't do it the next time. They'll learn their lesson. And they did. They remembered him. Every single animal that knew him that came in, they would pee. Hamilton, Larissa Engels, and other colleagues were determined to expose how pets were being treated at Skyway Animal Hospital in St. Catharines. I had never seen that much aggression in someone in my life. When pet owners believed they'd left their beloved animals in the good care of veterinarian doctor Mahavir Riki. Never, ever handle, handle an animal that's under anesthesia like that. A cat swinging by its tail, hitting the table as Dr. Riki takes it to the operating room. He would very often hold them by the neck like that and lift them in the air. Striking a muzzled dog on its nose. That's why this guy needs to be exposed. They say they helplessly watch the abuse. A dog did nothing to deserve that kind no. of hand. But all the time capturing video images from a security camera to turn over to the College of Veterinarians of Ontario. Dr. Riki was recently found guilty of professional misconduct. His license suspended for 10 months. The suspension cut to four months if he completes two and a half days of retraining. At that time we were getting the videos and I knew that if we just kept quiet and let him keep going, it was more, you know, fuel for the fire. Right. Um, but that man got four months. That's all he's getting is four months suspension, then he can touch animals again. Too little punishment, screamed the whistleblowers who wanted Dr. Riki's license revoked. Jan Robinson of the CVO called the veterinarian staff courageous for coming forward but said, we would consider this a very serious case and we would also consider the orders by the discipline panel serious orders. Through his lawyer, Dr. Riki refused comment. The doctor's lawyer says by pleading guilty, the doctor has fundamentally accepted responsibility for improperly restraining some animals, noting the doctor was trained in Pakistan and in that jurisdiction was not given proper training in animal restraint. He is now receiving that training as part of his sentence. I'm Austin Delaney. Exposing a veterinarian for abusive treatment of animals. His clinic is closed today following our CTV News exclusive story. Good afternoon. Technicians who worked at the Skyway Animal Hospital in St. Catharines say they couldn't sit by and watch anymore. So they called out the clinic owner for abusing the animals he was treating. And it was captured on security video. It led to the suspension of the veterinarian's license. Now there is an online petition to permanently revoke that license. CTV's Austin Delaney broke this exclusive story last night. Austin, I know you're going to show us more of that video, so let's warn the viewers that it is disturbing. You're at the Skyway Animal Hospital, and it's not open for business today. Well, I can tell you that two days ago when we were here investigating this story, it was open for business. But after we showed that very disturbing video yesterday at 6 o'clock on the news, today the doors are shut. The sign on the door says, we will be closed for the day. Sorry for the inconvenience. The windows covered in egg yolk. Shells litter the ground. A sign the people of St. Catharines are disgusted after seeing this video a veterinarian, Dr. Mahavir Riki, abusing pets, choking them, hitting their noses with nail clippers, swinging a cat under anesthetic by its tail as he takes the pet into surgery. Few here in St. Catharines appear shocked that the Skyway Animal Hospital was egged. I think the reaction, uh, although it might be a knee-jerk reaction, uh, it just, you know, exemplifies 
how people feel about it, I think, for, you know, the most part. The 12 videos were gathered by employees who wanted to expose Dr. Riki. They were sent to the College of Veterinarians of Ontario two years ago. He told me that if you, if you handle them roughly enough, they won't do it the next time. They'll learn their lesson. And they did. They remembered him. Every single animal that knew him that came in, they would pee. Last month, after pleading guilty, Dr. Riki was found guilty of professional misconduct. He was given a 10-month suspension, which can be cut to four and a half months if he completes two and a half days of remedial training. Clients say the suspension is not enough. He should be suspended for life. He should never be able to come in contact with a dog again. Never. Absolutely not. Never. Because if he's done it once, you, you don't change. I heard something about he needs to be taught how to care for dogs. You don't teach that. You either, you are good or you're not. This dog never liked to have his feet touched. And I just feel that for him to control my dog, when I saw the video of what happened, I'm sure that probably happened to him as well. Others now worry how their pets were treated. CA to investigate and lay animal cruelty charges against the doctor. I spoke to the doctor's lawyer today. The doctor does not want to comment. His lawyer says he is taking remedial lessons uh, and he pled guilty and that ought to be something to go along with his reputation. Reporting live in St. Catharines, I'm Austin Delaney. Calling for criminal animal cruelty charges and a lifetime suspension. There should be no second chances. An abusive veterinarian facing further backlash. CTV News with Ken Shaw and Michelle Dubay. Good evening. There is outrage over his treatment of animals and also over his punishment. Reaction to our exclusive report about an abuse of St. Catherine's veterinarian was immediate. The clinic today is closed. We want to warn you about the disturbing video in this story. CTV's Austin Delaney is in St. Catherine's at Skyway Animal Clinic. Austin, what happened there today? Well, a lot of angry people drop by demanding that the doctor's license be revoked, that the punishment is not enough. But the real news out of St. Catharines today is that an inspector with the Ontario SPCA watched our newscast last night, saw that horrific video, and has now launched a criminal investigation. The Skyway Animal Hospital's windows are covered in egg yolk, shells litter the ground, and locals say they are not surprised. I think the reaction, uh, although it might be a knee-jerk reaction, uh, it just, you know, exemplifies how people feel about it. It is reaction to this video we first aired last night, showing the clinic's owner, Dr. Mahavir Riki, abusing pets in his care, choking them, hitting their noses with nail clippers, swinging a cat under anesthetic by its tail as he takes the pet into surgery. Pet owners we spoke to who came to the clinic to ask questions only to find the door shut can't help but worry what happened to their pets when the examination door closed behind them. Sean Bradley took his dog Bo here and says something was not right in the way his puppy was treated. Yeah, he grabbed him in a headlock, grabbed him by the snow, pinned him down, like just took him and reefed him down on the table. Linda Warshawski says she's finding another vet for her cat. I was shocked. Absolutely shocked, stunned. Dr. Riki pleaded guilty to charges of professional misconduct. He was given a 10-month suspension by the College of Veterinarians of Ontario, which can be cut to four months if he completes two and a half days of remedial training. I have started an investigation, yes. Dr. Riki's troubles are far from over, as the Ontario SPCA opened an investigation after seeing the disturbing video on the evening news. In this case, it would be under the Criminal Code of Canada. And what would that offence be? It would be an offence of cruelty to animals. And is there a penalty for that? The penalty of the maximum under an indictable conviction of cruelty to animals would be five years in prison. As we mentioned, the clinic was closed today. It was open two days ago when it was down here investigating. A lot of angry people dropped by today saying this clinic needs to be closed for good and they want to run this doctor out of town. We're putting live in St. Catharines. I'm Austin Delaney. Ken? Thank you, Austin. So, suspended for 10 months, which becomes four months with the completion of a two-day remedial training course. Not nearly enough, say animal activists, who have launched an official campaign to have the veterinarian suspended for good. CTV Zoraida Allman joins us in the studio with that, Zoraida. Well, Ken and Michelle, pet owners aren't the only ones who think the penalty handed down by the College of Veterinarians was a slap on the wrist. A legal organization that advocates for abused animals feels the same way. So now they, too, have taken up the fight for a stiffer punishment.
Camille Labchuk says she was shocked when she saw the video on CTV News that clearly shows a St. Catharines veterinarian hitting and choking the animals under his care. I was completely floored by the, the very illegal animal abuse depicted. The executive director for Animal Justice, a group that takes up the legal fight for abused animals, took immediate action and filed a criminal complaint with the OSPCA. We're asking them to investigate and lay criminal charges against Dr. Reiki. This might be the only way we have at this point to prevent this man from, from uh, having access to animals again. Dr. Mahavir Singh Reiki was handed a 10-month suspension by the College of Veterinarians of Ontario, but he could be back in practice in four months if he completes a number of seminars on how to properly handle animals. I'm as shocked as, as, uh, as anyone else. Ontario's Community Safety and Corrections Minister says emotional reactions aside, the investigation must take its due course. Well, this is, a, this is under the Veterinary College, and uh, if there are um, uh, other, another opportunity through an investigative process that, uh, that could take place, then uh, appropriate charges would be laid. Meanwhile, Labchuk says her organization is doing what it can to ensure Dr. Reiki does not return to his practice. He should never again and be, not, be given the opportunity to harm more animals. Now, both the minister and Camille Labchuk commended the technicians for collecting the evidence and then coming forward. Meanwhile, Labchuk says she now not only wants criminal charges laid, but Dr. Reiki's license permanently revoked. I'm Zoraida Allman. Michelle, back to you. Thank you, Zoraida.